friends, in our earlier class, we have studied the primary and the secondary structure of protein. Now we will consider the tertiary and the quaternary structure of protein. As we know in the secondary structure of protein, there is localized folding of the polypeptide chain. This folding may be of beta pleated type or of the alpha helical type. You may see there is a polypeptide chain and this is the secondary folding of the polypeptide chain. In this folding, there is beta pleated folding, there is alpha helical folding and so many type of folding there are present. As we know in each amino acid there is an amino group and a carboxyl group and there is a side chain that is denoted by R. So in this polypeptide chain so many R groups or the side chains are projected out of these loops and these plates. These side chains may interact with each other. This gives rise to the tertiary structure of protein. These interactions may be of many types. It may be ionic when the groups are ionic. It may be of polar type when the groups are polar such as a hydroxyl group. This interaction may be hydrophobic when the side chain is organic or this interaction may be of SS type when there is sulfur amino acid present. For example, if 16 amino acids are present in nearby, then the sulfur groups of 216 amino acids can interact with each other and a bisulfide bond is formed. This bond is known as bisulfide bond. So such type of interactions, a large number of such type of interactions give rise to the tridimensional structure of protein. A large number of coiling and the interactions give rise to the tertiary structure of protein. There is intensive coiling in this structure and this structure is unique for each protein. A slight change in the pattern of this structure can give rise to the another protein. Another specialty of this structure is that in this structure the hydrophobic groups are present at the core and the hydrophilic groups are present at the outside. These hydrophobic hydrophilic groups can interact with water by the hydrogen bonding. Now we comes to the quaternary structure. As we know the one polypeptide gene give rise to the tertiary structure. In the case of protein, there may be more than one polypeptide chain present. For example, in the case of hemoglobin, there are four polypeptide chain present in the globin protein. These chains, two chains are beta and two chains are alpha. The interaction between these four polypeptide chains give rise to the quaternary structure of hemoglobin. So, in the case of proteins in which more than one polypeptide chain is present, there is quaternary structure. But in the case of proteins where only one polypeptide chain is present, only tertiary structure is observed. So in conclusion, the primary structure is the sequence of amino acids. The secondary structure is the localized folding of polypeptide chains. The tertiary structure is the tridimensional folding of polypeptide chain. And the quaternary structure is the interaction of these subunits or these polypeptide chains. This is all about the structure of protein. Thank you for watching this video.